get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. That was what my teacher shared with me that changed my life. Starting a few steps from here at that convention. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed, better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better and be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Learn how to handle the seasons better. Let's go through them. Just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You say, well, what can I do about the upcoming winters of my life? The challenges that I know I'm going to face. Here's what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, and better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you. How strong you're going to be able to become in language, in style, in personality, the ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up, my mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again. And I did it again and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared and I did it when I didn't want to and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well and I didn't did it when they didn't appreciate it. And I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage but the greatest introduction I've ever had, greatest response and welcome I've ever had, the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul, I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach, until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, was missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger. Get better. The key is not to wish for a better winter. The key is to wish for more strength, more wisdom, more courage, get better, get wiser, get stronger. Here's number two. Learn to take advantage of the spring. Spring means opportunity. And we've got a fresh spring going here. It's called a spring like no other. A spring, an opportunity like no other for you. But here's the clue. Spring is not a guarantee of a harvest in the fall, in the autumn, harvest time. Here's what you must learn to do. Underline the two words if you're taking notes. Take advantage. Take advantage of the spring. Don't just be faked out by the spring because the nice weather has come and looks like everything is going to be a lot better. The winter's finally passed. The spring is here. I'm telling you, that's not going to do it for you. Just because the spring is here, it's not going to do it for you. You got to seize it with your own two hands and take advantage. Read the books. Study the tapes. Go back through your notes. Get ready to cash in on the spring. And now there's a sense of urgency here. Here's why. Spring doesn't last that long. Let's take advantage of it. It's called take advantage of the spring. And there's also an urgency here. How many springs have you got in a lifetime? Not very many. Life is brief at the longest. The Beatles wrote, life is very short. And for John Lennon, it was extra short. For Michael Landon, it was extra short. But it is short. There's an urgency here. Don't waste your springs. Don't just let them pass, 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 hoping the time will pass. 
take advantage. Last year it was seize the moment. And I'm asking you now this season to seize the spring opportunity. You've got a new organization going, seize the spring. You've got a new distributor going, seize the spring. You've got a new life situation going, seize the spring. Take advantage of it. Don't let it pass without giving it the best of your two hands and your attention. Number three, first, learn how to handle the winter. Second, take advantage of the spring. Number three, in the summer, learn to nourish and protect. We've got some major challenges now come summertime. One is to nourish our values, take care of them, feed them. Don't let them go hungry. Don't let them go wanting in nourishment and care. And then here's something else we've got to do in the summer. Defend ourselves against the enemies. Summertime is a unique time. It's a time of opportunity. It's also a time of challenge. But what else is new? It's what life is called. The last six and a half thousand years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. Opportunity mixed with challenge. We've got a chance to grow like never before. But I'm telling you, there's going to be many enemies that's going to try to prevent us. As soon as you plant the garden, the busy bugs and the noxious weeds are out to take it. And you've got to learn not only to nourish your values, you've got to learn to do battle with your enemies. Whatever threatens you, I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility, but don't take anything off of anybody. Somebody wants to destroy your chances for a good future by their negative talk, negative thinking, putting it all down, I'm telling you, walk away if you have to, walk away. Whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever threatens your opportunity, threaten it back. Now, some of our enemies are on the outside, but here's the most important thing to understand. Some of our enemies are on the inside. Let me give you a quick list. Indifference. You got to do battle with your own indifference. Boy, it's easy to coast. Especially if you've accomplished something, you know, extraordinary now. Somebody says, I got to relax. Here's the key. Not too long. The weeds will take all you plant if you rest too long. Don't rest too long. Indecision. You got to make those decisions. The ones that don't turn out to be good gives you experience to make better decisions. Don't let much time go by without making some decisions. The ones that you can make quickly, make them quickly. The ones that take time, take your time. But get those decisions made. Don't let indecision be an enemy, rob you of the future, empty your bank account, leave you with zero in the purse. Don't let that happen. The next one is doubt. Sure, there's doubts on the outside. People doubt that America's going to make it. People doubt that Europe's going to make it. People doubt that Russia's going to make it, that Poland's going to make it, that Czechoslovakia's going to make it. They doubt the whole world is going to make it. But I'm asking you not to pick up all those doubts. I'm asking you to have some faith, have some courage, believe, drive your doubts into a small corner. Don't let them loose like a mad dog, drive you into a small corner. Don't doubt the future. Don't doubt the possibilities. Don't doubt the extraordinary gifts that your distributors bring to your organization. Don't doubt that. And here's the most important one of all. Don't doubt yourself. I'm gonna pass on the